What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we're gonna go over the best budget cards and the pretty much the, for the best price as well. Um, as per usual, drop 20,000 MT in the comments, like the vid, and sub if you're new for a chance of winning 20,000 MT. Let's get this video to 60 likes. And we'll give away 20,000 MT to a couple subs. So make sure to drop that sub button, like the vid. Let me know if you're the first like as well on my Twitter down below. It is in the description. It's at your boy Bugs or at ya Bugs. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. There's a lot of good budget ballers in this. So let's go over it. First off, I'm going to say the number one budget baller in this game right now is Markel Folds. I mean, he's so good. He's running. He's on my budget squad. And pretty much, it's going to be all under like 10k, I would say. So, he's around 5,000-ish coins. He's under 5k, and he's one of the best budget ballers in the game by far. It's not even close. So, for 5k, you could get this gorgeous Markel Fultz for the price of 5k and 91 3, 91 mid. Okay, he, that's stack. 92, 92 layup. Not only that, he has a 90 driving dunk. He's 6 more at point guard, so... Not only that, his passing sick and his perimeter D and steel is pretty solid as well. With that being said, he also has a 91 speed. So comparing him to Diamond Trey Young, he's literally better. Like it's crazy how comparable. First of all, why is he better than Trey Young? Trey Young is 6'2. In this game, he feels like he's five foot. I don't know why. Uh the two-inch difference, I guess, really matters. But bro, this Markel Fultz is by far the best budget card in the game. I would recommend you do pick him up for this price. And he also has sick badges like Gold Quick Draw. So hopefully if you do try him out. Hopefully it works out. There's also a ton of... I'm pretty much just going to be in the Amethyst Filter. There's so many good Amethyst uh, budget ballers. Another budget baller I'm going to go over is Earl Monroe Diamond. I mean, you guys probably know this one already. But uh, for his price, he's so dirt cheap, and he's the cheapest diamond in the game by a lot. So he's literally under 5K. He's so common. Everybody has him. Um, he's around 5-ish K. For a diamond 94 overall, I don't think you can go wrong. So here's the stats. A 93 overall. 6-3 point guard. 86-3. 92 mid-range. I mean, he's filthy. He's got a 75 dunk. Um, his steal's an 84. Perimeter D, 84. Speed, 88. Personally... Uh, does he have gold quick draw? He even has gold quick draw. He has 30 gold badges, 5 silver, and he is also a slithery finisher at Hall of Fame. Personally, I would say Markel Fultz is better because this card is a little outdated. But yeah, no, this card is really good as well. Um, another new budget card that came out last night or yesterday in the moments is new Miles Turner. And why do I say he's budget? First off, he's a big man that could shoot. That's, a, that's budget baller alert right away. Um, for his price, under 7k, um, definitely recommend. Not only that, bro, token market's coming soon. There's going to be a ton of budget baller videos for that as well. Offense, 82, 92 defense, 611 at center. I would put him at power. He's got 84-3. He has a 92 mid-range. I'm comparing this to a diamond Ben Wallace. So, obviously, he's going to shoot better, but he's pretty much better in every category. He's also got a 70 driving dunk, set, uh 90 standing so you definitely could throw lobs to him he's got a great block at 96 his interior is a 94 his rebounding is 88 89 his rebounding isn't the best like i said power forward method he has a 70 speed which is kind of slow 42 speed of ball so he is kind of slow so i don't know if he is your ideal center but honestly for this cheap i would recommend it for this budget baller price pretty solid card i would have to say one budget baller card that is so OP, and he won me so many online games. Fred Van Fleet Sapphire. He has Rondo's jumper. It's straight. It's straight money, bro. He's going for around 2k. Um, his step back is glitched. Every step back that I do with him is in. He has an 83, 86 mid. The stats might look um like not the best, but for the price of 2k, comparing him to Trey Young, he's very similar. Very similar. He even has a he has a very similar three, very similar mid. He has a very he has a the better free throw. He has a better driving dunk, which doesn't matter. He has pretty much the same handles. He has a 92 steal and 87 perimeter. I honestly might run this on my legit god squad. Like for his defense to be better than a diamond 94 Trey Young is kind of crazy. 92 steal and 87 perimeter for a sapphire card. 
This card is literally one of the best cards in the game. I recommend you guys get him. Let me know how it works out. That's pretty much the best budget card in the game. Um, there's a lot of good budget cards. Most of the budget cards are in moments of the weeks. Like this new Garland is pretty good. I'm not the biggest fan of him. All right, yeah. This new Dante Exum is filthy as well. Um, with the 92 defense, he's got an 86 3, 78 mid. Um, his badges, he has gold quick draw, which is really, and gold ankle breaker, which is pretty solid. He is a 6 6 point guard. So that's a plus. And with his perimeter D being at 88 and 80 steel is so solid, especially with the 6 6 um, height. I mean, he's a beast. He's got an 86 speed as well. So I would recommend picking up this car. He's so cheap. He's under 2K. Would recommend that. This, this Shabazz Napier is actually really good. Also, one budget card that plays so good for me. I would have to say one of the best budget cards in the game, bro. Lonzo Ball Amethyst for around 10K. I mean, he, it's Lonzo Ball. Everybody loves Lonzo. And for this, for this card to drop is such a plus. The only thing I don't understand why is his perimeter and steel isn't that good. Meanwhile, Alonzo is so clamps. But uh, he has an 85 dunk, 83 three, and 79 mid. His jump shot is money. He has insane badges. And for the price at 10K, you really can't go wrong. So try him out. He has the gold quick draw. I'm not really going to go over the badges. They're pretty much the standard badges. Gold quick draw, gold clamps. So um, personally, this Jamal Murray isn't that good. Um, one other really good budget baller. Um, it's Keith Van Horn. I think he's in this set. Yes. Ruby Keith Van Horn. First off, he has great defense and he could shoot. So let's go over it. This is the Ruby 87, 388 mid. Uh, he doesn't have the best dunking, but he is 610 at small forward. So that's sick. Um, he is a little slow, but he's got great perimeter. He's taller. So he's going to be pretty solid for the cheap price. Would recommend also this Jim Jackson. He's got good defense and great shooting. So at the price of what is he around 5-ish K? He's a 2K for an 86 overall sapphire. Three-point shot 80. 84 mid. 75 driving dunk. I would recommend this card. I like his jump shot. He's got a 75 steel, 79 perimeter. Decent on defense, nothing too crazy. But um, yeah, try out this card. Penny's decent. This Kittles is decent. Hot Rod's decent. Rex, oh, how can I forget about Rex Chapman? This whole set's low-key filled with budget ballers. I like Rex Chapman because he's got the dunk and he's got a really cheesy three and his jump shot's money. Um, let's see, anyone's in here. Michael Cooper, one of the best budget cards as well. Not only that, he is so, he's great shooter. He could dunk and he just has clans, bro. Peep the perimeter and steal. 90 perimeter, 85 steal for a ruby, 80 something overall. Would recommend this card. I love his jump shot. I always love Cooper. And he is available to a diamond, which I am going to check out for you guys in this video. Jermaine O'Neal is also a really, really good uh, budget card. Uh, let's see. Is there a Michael Cooper diamond? There he is. So, 90, he goes to a 95, 88, 3, 88 mid. I can't even imagine. 95 dunk and his defense. 97 steel, 90 perimeter. Comparing him to Allen Iverson and Kobe, bro, it's close. Like, he's so freaking good. Would recommend that card. Try emoing him out. And uh, one of the last cards I'm going to show you, um, Kenyon Martin is actually a very good budget card as well. And then I'm going to go over to, um, oh my god, what's his name? Jermaine O'Neal. So this Kenyon Martin is pretty much good at everything. He, is, he starts off with 90 and 90. Then he go like his stats get better. His like, Think about his defense. It's already that at Amethyst. Then you could upgrade him to uh, a diamond. So try, or a pink diamond. So I would try Evoing him out um freaking stack hard and then his stats at ping diamond are even better he's so good he's got a 79 3 85 mid 95 dunk he's got a 74 steel 84 perimeter 89 interior he's like your ideal power forward if you could evo him out and last but not least i'm gonna go over jermaine o'neal because um he's just amazing i mean his stats are amazing jermaine o'neal here's his ami he's so cheap a 96 offense, 88 mid, bro. For the for the price of like 5k, pick him up. Really can't shoot, but I believe his um his final card can shoot. Yeah, 82, 3, 96 mid. Whoa, my god. Low key, one of the best cards in the game. Low key, 92 block. If you Evo this card out, bro, you're a goat. Like he's got great rebounding. He's an ideal power forward. He is a little slower. He's gonna get cooked by Giannis, but bro, what's his speed? A 65 speed, not terrible, I guess. But uh, yeah, pretty solid card. I would recommend you do pick him up an Evo Loom. But yeah, that's really all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Personally, my favorite budget card in the game. Um, 
I don't know. I would probably say Fred Van Fleet by far. He's so good. I literally can. His step back, green release every time. No joke. Try him out. But yeah, that's really all I got, guys. Hope you did enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more content. Peace.